Okay, so one of the most talked about films, I think, at the London Film Festival this year is Hitman. Raj is here. I am Phil. We are boys on film. I didn't actually get to see it, but you did, thankfully. This is a must-see, actually. Um, yeah. yeah, thanks yeah. for that, Raj. <laughs> Any film by Richard Linklater, um, you know, I definitely enjoy. You know, I love all of his films. From Days and Confused. She's a great filmmaker. You know, very dialogue-y type films and really interesting characters. And this film is actually a comedy, which I wasn't quite expecting either. Um, starring Glenn Powell, whose star is definitely rising. I'll read you the IMDb description of the movie. So a professor moonlighting as a hitman of sorts for his city police department finds himself descending into a dangerous, dubious territory when he finds himself attracted to a woman who enlists his services. This sounds like, you know, a suspense film when you read about it, right? So yeah. that's what I kind of thought going into it. Um, and maybe it had that like Richard Linklater touch to it, but this movie is a full out comedy. And I mean, a dark comedy, but a comedy. And basically, you know, you got this guy, he's, I guess he's catfishing people as a hitman. So people will hire him to off somebody, but he's actually working for the police. And so the police go and arrest these criminals that are hiring hitmen. And apparently it's a whole thing. So, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, he, he, like I said, like I mentioned earlier, he gets hired by this beautiful woman who wants to off her husband and, um, and he just really gets involved with her and this very intricate, like story, um, and, you know, eventually the husband hires him to off the wife and, and the crazy, crazy, crazy thing about this is this is a true story. <laughs> you know obviously you know there's a few embellishments and even jokingly at the end of the film like in the credits you know richard posts up little messages oh we made that bit up you know <laughs> <laughs> but i was like this was one of those 8 30 a.m press screenings and i was like you know i'm like i hate watching heavy films in the morning like and then so the 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 way that this turned out and it you know is very lighthearted and funny and just really enjoyable like really made made it for me so i was i would definitely watch this film again um glenn powell's you know rising star been on scene for a while and then that last top gun movie he is in screen queens you know people know who he is but i think this really solidified uh, the fact for me that he is actually a really good actor and can act and can do comedy and uh i was just really impressed all the way around like all the sporting characters were were really fun the the story was interesting the fact that it was you know true crime as well like yeah i just had a really good time with it that's a really good point that you made about comedy acting because i think some people underestimate how difficult it is to get something funny on screen across because i think it's often deemed as something that's a bit throwaway but actually comic timing is really difficult and i think if you're a good actor you can nail it and mm -hmm. obviously that that's the case with this you've you know you thought he was he was an even better actor for for doing that and also people who are you know on the film festival circuit have been like oh this film's competing with the killer and you know kind of same sort of subject matter it's yeah really bad. I haven't seen The Killer yet, but I don't, you know, from what I that know... That was another film really... that I tried to go to as I ended up at the wrong venue. I've got a habit of doing that this year. I'm all over the place. <laughs> but uh, this film doesn't compete at all, other than the fact that they might have two hitmen in each film. But yeah, um, but yeah very, I think, opposite film. Opposite Definitely lighter in mood. What was the reaction like from the crowd? Because I, I went to a screening of a film called Stop Motion, which was like a horror horror film, and it was a relatively small screening room. I think it was the NFT3, and everybody at the end, nobody clapped, because obviously at LF, uh, the festivals, people do usually clap at the end if they think it's a really good film, and you know they want to show their appreciation. Nobody nobody clapped for Stop Motion. It was terrible. Oh, or at this, at, okay, so... Keep in mind that this is an 8.30 a.m. press screening full of journals. Okay, nobody had had their coffee yet. <laughs> I didn't have my coffee yet either. But, and I was, you know, because you got me rushing into the press screening in the morning, and then you look at the queue at the Badugo, and you're like, oh, I can't be bothered to wait in the queue. I want to try and get in the room. And then, uh, but yeah, all the journos were audibly laughing throughout and afterwards. And yeah. That's a good sign then. 
Yeah. And it's kind of just at that beginning point of LFF2, where sort of the energy's in the air and people are excited. And I overheard conversations like, oh, I can't wait to see Scorsese and, you know, yeah. things like that. And um, yeah, there's a good energy, you know. Uh, maybe not so much for myself being at 8.30 in the morning without coffee, but... There yeah, was- I'm, not great. <laughs> I'm not great at the early morning screenings. Mind you, I've seen a, a couple of good ones this year. Uh, how, to have, how, how to Have Sex was really good, and that was an early morning screening. And also, I was the last person allowed in because I was waiting in the queue, and they said, you're, you're the last one in. So I had to grab the last seat, which was right down at the bottom, front row. So I was literally seeing the screen <laughs> right up against my face, and I, I couldn't see couldn't see a great overall shot well i mean i was like right in there so it wasn't the best to see at all there's an extra screening of it i know you said it was really good um, yeah but i just couldn't move my bum quick enough to make it this morning but i'll have to watch i'll have to watch out for that yes yeah, great really enjoyed how to have sex so what's your star rating for hitman uh i'm gonna give it a four the hurt four um it's you know not one of those films that you know you you'll feel bad if uh, you don't watch it right away but definitely add it to your watch list because um and if you're in the mood for s- something not serious a bit lighthearted and really good entertainment with you know a very compelling and humorous and just a funny story really um about how life can be so weird <laughs> sometimes <laughs> put it on your watch list so it's called hitman so if you've seen it at the lff uh, this year do let us know drop a comment down below um by the way we probably don't have the information right to hand when we're recording this when it's coming out in cinemas but uh if we do by the time we've edited it we will stick all the details down in the show notes and that you know is the same across the board for all the other films that we've seen because uh we're up front at the festivals so uh yeah thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and share with your friends share with anyone Let's get the message out there that Boys on Film is here and we're covering stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. See you later, Raj.